Thanks for joining Bell South with our, for our instruction sheets on how to use a Bell South 100 incubator. Over the years, many thousands of this incubator have been sold across Australia, making it the most popular small incubator in Australia's history. But we have lots and lots of people ring up saying, please, can we have an instruction sheet? Uh, is there an instruction sheet online? No, there hasn't been because it was never produced online. It's only ever been produced as print. So we decided we'd do it by video. So we're going to show you how you'd go about using a Bell South 100 incubator. Doesn't matter if it's a new or a second hand one, the rules are still all the same. But we'll show you a new one coming out of the box here and uh, how we use the incubator. A few main parts that come in the box. Wire floor, very hard to incubate without the wire floor. The top half and the bottom half of the incubator. The top half contains the heating element, which goes right around the outside here the thermostat which is in the centre and the thermostat sensor probe which is here. Normally the end of that thermostat sensor probe is going to be approximately level with the top of the egg and it doesn't hurt to bend it up and down until it is so. The bottom of the incubator when it comes out has the water channels in the bottom, there's the water channels, two, two water channels, a large one and a small one and that basically gives four settings of humidity. No water at all which you will need sometimes both channels full of water, which you will need sometimes. A small channel, which is what you'd use in summer. A large channel, which is what you'd use in winter. The printed instruction sheet that's not available online. And the thermometer. Now the thermometer comes in a box laid flat and it comes in two parts. It has the actual thermometer. And it's very important that when you start to use the incubator, new, second hand, been sitting in a shed for five years, whatever, it is very important that you check the thermometer. The most common cause of, fi of failures is faulty thermometers. Put your thumb on the thermometer and watch the fact that the black column starts to respond. If you really want to do another little check, you can always do the doctor's thing and put it under your arm and leave it there for a few minutes and it should come out about 95, 98 degrees. If it comes out right at 106, either you're dead or the thermometer's faulty. And if it reads 90, well, you're probably pretty sick. Okay? So, thermometer. The thermometer goes on a little metal bracket. Now, the little metal bracket's got some lines on it, and the lines are designed so that you can bend it into a U-shape. And that actually makes a little stand that the thermometer is mounted on. Now, we'll get you one that we uh, put together earlier to save me screwing it up on screen. And there it is, the thermometer mounted on its little stand. Now, the, the incubator must be level when it's placed um, in the place for use. So if you fill up the outside water channel right now, and the water is the same level all the way around, you know that the incubator is level. And it must be level because hot air is like water. It rises to find its own level according to gravity. And what we're going to do is we're going to put eggs all around the incubator. We want every egg to be at the same temperature in the incubator. Our thermometer is only at one place. We're going to place that in the middle of the incubator. And what we're going to do is set the thermometer just for the right temperature in the machine. What's the right temperature? Well, we put a great big fat line on our thermometer so you know what's the right temperature. It's 103 degrees. It's 103 degrees on the top of the egg. Why is that? Because the broody bird puts her body temperature on top of the egg and her body temperature is 103, 104 degrees and it's on top of the egg. So if we put the egg in next to the thermometer, we bend the stand of the thermometer until the bottom of that bulb is level with the top of the egg. Of course, if we're doing quail eggs, it's going to be tilted right down low. And if it's, if it's goose eggs, it's going to be tilted right up high. But for chicken eggs, level with the top of the egg, 103 degrees is what we want to see in the incubator. So we'll put it in a place we can read underneath. So it's underneath the, uh, uh, the, uh, the window. And we're going to look inside, turn the machine on. The temperature sensing probe is also roughly level with the top of the egg. The light's going to go on. And when the light switches off, the temperature in there should be 103 degrees. If it's not 103 degrees, we're going to twiddle our little knob here, raise or lower, wait until the light goes on, the light goes off, and the light just goes off 103 degrees. And we've set the temperature correctly. In the next one, we'll go on to the next stage of how we go about the incubation with the Bell South 100. Thank you.